this is problem uh, 2.89 so first you're going to do the moment around uh, point B okay, so you do the moment around that you're going to get uh, so here at point C you're going to have a reaction force like this right because of the specific support so the reaction force is only um, perpendicular to the plane and then you did B you're going to get uh, F times 0.6, right? 0.6 F. That's going to be into the patient negative, and then plus 0.8, and then times with the support at C is equal to zero. And then here you're going to get uh, C equal to 0.6 to over 0.8 times F, which is like um, 3 over 4 F. Okay, so that's good to know. That's going to be 3 over 4 F. Now I'm going to cut at B. Okay, so I have a cut at B. And then I'm going to do the FBD from B to C. Then I'm going to have uh, FBD of PC. No, oh, not PC. CP, <laughs> PC's computer. Anyways, uh, this rotate it a little bit, something like this. So the external force on this is going to be the first force is going to be F, right? So it's F. And so I have C, so apparently to be 3 over 4 F. And then over here, you have normal force. At usual, right? So normal force. And normally you have a, a shear force, right? V for shear force. But in this case, if you look at this, you're gonna notice that this is a two force body. So the body, there's two points that apply force on it. There's no other point that apply force. There are only two points that force are applying to. It's a two force body two forces body what that mean is uh, all the forces have to be applied the uh, direction of the force has to be on this line right? if you connect the two points you get the line of action of all the forces and by that so if you combine this force and this force you will notice that the combination of them like this right which is exactly this line line of action between the two point and therefore this V component is zero right because N is already perfectly uh, work for this one it's already in the line of action so you don't need another component on it so V is going to be zero okay so with this free body diagram uh, you can easily solve a lot of things so and before that, I think I have to provide some. Uh, you do need to provide some dimension, I think. Uh, doesn't specify where P is. Okay, that's why. I know this is a triangle, right? So this is 0 0.8, this is 0 0.6, right? Uh, so this one you can divide it. Um, so this one is uh, 4, this one is 3 by ratio, right? And so that basically means this one is five. So three four five is a famous right triangle. Okay. So I can do three, four, and five. Okay? That's one way you learn statics. And I can write F in the y direction. Oh wait, yeah. Before this, I need to calculate what N is. So you know what N is because N is just of uh, stress times area so stress you know what stress is stress is 1.2 mpa so m is 7 to 6 then area is 0 0.01 and this is a 12,000 and um, newton okay and so now we do f in the y direction having negative f 
Okay. Uh, minus uh, n, which is for, oh yeah, so, okay, so for n, for direction of the n, we know that it's a compressive, normal stress is compressive, so like compressive is not tensile, it's going to be compressed. What that means is the direction of the n is going to be into the object, right? That's pretty much definition. It's going to be plus, and then the y direction, so y is direction to 4, right? So 4 divided by this length, 5, times n. And this is pretty much equivalent to um, the psi of the angle, it's pretty much the same thing. I'm just skipping the, calculate the angle step just by going straight to the ratio. Because they end up going being the ratio anyway. Cosine psi is the ratio of the length of the angle any of the triangle anyway. Okay, so with that, that is equal to zero. Okay. Equilibrium. So F is basically four over five times N, which is four over five times twelve thousand Newton. Just give you Nine hundred no, nine thousand six hundred newton. So that's going to be the maximum force that you can apply for uh, F, but keep it to the uh, back of normal stress. Okay, so that's the uh, final solution for this problem.